Okay, so now for the fun part. We're going to cut this little section of the blade out here so that it tapers down to a nice edge there. So the first thing we'll do is go to Sketch, Create Sketch. Now I have the option here of obviously clicking on my work plane, but what I actually want to do is remove material from the outside surface. So I'm going to start my sketch on this plane here, this piece of the, ge the geometry. Now when I do that, it's going to automatically create a little sketch of that geometry, which normally is very useful, but in this case I don't actually need any of it. So I'm going to delete that and we'll go sketch and I'll make a line here. Now the reason that's useful typically is if you wanted to like make up, say like a, an unusual shape and you want to make an inset surface, you could start with that sketch and then go to sketch offset and then shrink it in and then basically do a, pre a press pull into the surface that way. Uh, and it would conform to the outline of that surface perfectly. So, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and, and we'll just make a line that kind of conforms to, uh, to that edge there as closely as possible. And I'll get to the top of the circle. And then I'm just going to draw out a very simple rectangular shape. And if you sort of mouse over one of these edges or, or uh, verts or whatever they are, points, you can see it's going to give you that little dotted blue line whenever you're, uh, you're lined up with it. So I can do a click and then another click and get this uh, being very, very nice and regular. And now I can hit stop sketch. So you can see the sketch is not on the center line there, which would be over here. It's actually lined up with this surface. So I'm going to go ahead and do a press pull. Now we remember that this distance is four and a half. So I basically need to get this very, very close to the center line, but not quite on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this depth is going to be negative 4.5 divided by two plus 0.1. So what's left off of the actual, like the thickness after this operation down here is going to be uh, 0.2 because it'll be basically double that on both sides. So I'll hit OK here and that's what I am left with. So this you can see this surface here is just barely, uh, maybe it's not super obvious, but this is going to be basically 0.1 millimeters at the base here, hopefully, away from the center line. And that may prove to be not quite enough and if so, it's no problem. But I've got a new problem now. I'm going to go ahead and hide my uh, my canvases, which is that I've got this kind of awkward piece sticking out there. So how do I deal with this? This is exactly how you're going to do probably 95% of your blades. You're going to do a cut like this and then you grab this edge and you go modify fillet and just drag it all the way down. Basically go as far as it will let you go before it starts to complain. And in my case, it's going to basically let me go to the edge there, I think. Yeah, so there it's, it's unhappy, but that's 161. Let's see if it'll let me kind of 147. Okay, so that's going to be fine. So I'm going to hit OK. So now I get that nice transition down to the center. Isn't that nice? This program's great. All right, so now what I need to do is basically mirror that feature to the other side so that I get a nice sharp edge there. So to do that, I am going to select all of these faces here and go to modify oh, actually this is in create and mirror so you can see my objects I've got a pattern type here it's not objects or bodies it's faces so I want to make sure I select all of these faces that are associated with that operation uh, otherwise it'll say I'm not entirely sure how to rebuild that on the other side and you'll get a little error so now for the mirror plane I'll just grab this work plane and hit OK. And if everything went according to plan, I now have a pretty nice looking knife blade. And depending on the reference, there may be a little bit of a bevel there. I wouldn't be surprised if there is. And if I need this to be, sorry, it would be a chamfer. If I need this to be thicker so that it can support that chamfer, it's no problem. All I need to do is basically come over to this operation and hit edit feature. And you can see there's my math. So like four and a half is our, our, our starting width divided by two gives us half. Uh, and then I added uh, one millimeter to pull it back off of that center line. So if I want, I can just say, let, or point 0.1, let's make this point 0.2 and hit OK. And we'll run through everything again. And now this edge is even thicker, so I can now come in 
and do like a modify chamfer and it may complain because it gets to zero up there but it may be okay let's try like point point one point two right so anyway you get the idea you can basically go in and, and uh, add a, an additional little razor sharp edge there if you want for me I'm gonna be okay with this being for now at least I'll leave this at uh, Oops, I went back a little bit too far. Let me hit stop sketch. It is going to be this operation, the extrude, and you can see the stuff lights up there. So I'll hit edit feature, and that's point one. And there we are. So now that that is done, I should be able to come back with my sketches. Let's see if we can track it down here. There we are. And now we can do another press pool. So I think one of the reasons it was complaining before is because I did, uh, I extruded this, I did a press pool to this surface and then I modified the surface significantly so this surface kind of ceased to exist. So just to avoid that going forward here, I am going to, I'm gonna hold the left mouse button down here and we'll say, which one are you looking for? And I'll say the profile. So that's a way to, to select something through something else. Now we can do a press pool. And I'll do symmetric and just pull it far enough so that it's it's far it's far enough out and it won't worry about what's going on with the surface if we decide to do something more uh, complicated with it down the road so now we can hide that sketch and let's take a look back at our canvas hide that geometry so it's real hard to see exactly what that thickness is but we can kinda guess and you can see there is a chamfer along that edge and it looks like there may be one along this edge too but I'm not sure about transitioning from a chamfered edge up to a point there that might be a little bit tricky but uh, okay so let's go ahead and, and uh, now we can cut this stuff out so let's hide that uh, or show this uh, part of the body again go to the right view and we'll go sketch and so my assumption here, before we actually do this, is let's hide the body. There's that cut. Sorry, I didn't mean hide the body. I meant to hide the canvas there. This little this little detail is actually lined up with this bottom surface, but because of perspective, we're seeing it kind of bulge out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just do a clean cut there, and then we'll we'll put a, a little fillet on that edge, and I think it'll be fine. So sketch, we'll make a new sketch. This one we do want on the mid-plane. And I'm gonna make a spline. So out here. And then, so I wanna put the point here, but I actually want this to kind of be like one consistent straight out, so or line straight out. So maybe I'll actually put it like there, and then we can, let me uh, hide the bodies. You can also make the bodies unselectable, but that's like a couple of extra operations of, of clicking on the thing and, and uh, just turning the, 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 the uh, light bulb off is kind of a simpler solution. All right, now I'm gonna make a line, so sketch, line, from that point out and I need to turn on the body so I can make sure that this goes far enough out so that I can get a nice clean cut so what I want is this all of this stuff should probably be pretty clean like that should be a smooth transition so I am going to hide the body and then what we can do is modify the, f the uh, spline here so that these kind of line up. So I think I'll do something like that. And even though it's not quite right, we'll get a we'll get a cleaner end result. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. So back to the body and we'll go. So we could do a couple things here. We could do a sketch and then just basically close it off like this and then do a, a, a press pull with a negative or show the alternative here. Just with that line there, I'm gonna do what is called a split body. So we'll go to modify, split body, click the geometry, and then we'll go to the splitting tool 
and click that edge and hit OK. So now what I'm left with is this piece here is one piece of geometry and this piece here, or body I mean, and this is a new body. So if I uh, select these, we can see, okay, so this body one is now this guy. And you can see it didn't quite go all the way through there, but I'm actually gonna do another cut that sort of maybe cleans that up. So if I right click and I hit delete, it's gonna delete the entire thing. But if I right click and hit remove, it'll just, basically cut off that little that little piece there and everything is going to be totally fine. So we'll do that and I'm going to do this last cut. We'll do a sketch, create sketch. And let's see for this, I think a line is going to be just fine. I don't actually know what's happening here. But it's probably not radically different than that. So I'll make a new line. Hit okay. Stop sketch. We'll do a press pull and we'll do symmetric here and hit OK. Let's hide the canvas and I think it's looking pretty good. Now I usually hold off on doing things like you know uh, filleting these edges or whatever until everything is done because that stuff can kind of get in the way and looking at it it seems like maybe I didn't quite do as good a job with this as I could have. I'd really like it if this top point lined up with the top of that circle. So I think I'm gonna go back and modify the sketch. Very, very quickly. I'm gonna do an edit sketch. And I'm gonna turn the sketch on for this other circle so that I can sort of see what's going on. And we'll just scoot it over like that. And it may very subtly change this. Let me turn that back on. I think that's okay. We'll hit stop sketch and it will pipe all that stuff through again. And I will end up with a nice clean transition up there. So if that doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what does because I think that is just totally cool. All right, so uh, in the next video, we will add a little bit more uh, detail to the handle here.